The chat in Foundry VTT is great for keeping track of roles and sending messages, but it is fairly simple and leaves much room for improvement. Luckily, there are many modules that add a huge variety of features ranging from simple visual improvements to handy role automations. Let me show you my nine favorite Foundry VTT chat modules and you'll want to stick around for the last module. It brings back a great old module to Foundry version 10. Hi there, my name is Fondu, your VTT wizard, and I have over 300 hours using Foundry VTT. On this channel called Dice and Easy, I give you VTT tutorials and daily TTRPG memes as YouTube shorts, so if that sounds like your thing, hit that subscribe button down there. By the by, I want to quickly mention again that I just recently reached YouTube partner on this old channel. That means that I can now earn money with the videos I make on this channel, which doesn't require any additional actions from you. But if you do want to show an extra bit of appreciation for me, you can become a member of the channel or send a super thanks. Thank you once again for everyone who has supported me thus far. And now onto the video. As usual, let's go through the Foundry VTT setup I'm using for this video. I'm using the latest stable release of Foundry version 10, and do know that there was a new stable release of version 10 on June 26th. I can promise that these modules will work on other versions of Foundry. Secondly, remember to activate the modules in your game world, otherwise they won't work. With those basics out of the way, let's roll on to the first module. Okay, let's start with a beefy one. DF Chat Enhancements adds a bunch of very handy Foundry Chat features. First, by default the Foundry Chat loads messages when you scroll up, but the problem is that once those messages have been loaded, they stay there until the page is refreshed. The problem that this causes is that keeping these messages loaded up will eat more and more resources from your PC, slowing down Foundry the longer you use it. With DF Chat enhancements, the module will actively monitor the scroll position and automatically unload chat messages based on a maximum history size. This way, you will be saving resources to use Foundry better. Unloaded messages can get added to the module's next feature, the chat archive. The chat archive allows you to save either all of your current chat messages or a selected date range of messages. When you save the messages, you can choose to have them automatically deleted from the chat. Once you have an archive, you can go to the settings tab and click the manage chat archive button to see your archives. Simply click any archive and it will open a viewer window where you can see the old chats. This is a great way to keep backups of your Foundry VTT chat if you have a need for that. Next in the same module is the adventure log. This allows you as the GM to write slash log in the chat to write a quick note about what just happened in the game. This message will then get saved into a designated journal entry where you can read them at your leisure. This handy tool will let you quickly create notes for yourself for later use. Third in this module are role selector buttons added to the top of your chat box. These buttons let you easily select what role you want for your chat messages, i.e. public, private, blind, or self. Lastly, the module also adds a better chat scrolling experience where instead of jumping to the bottom of the chat when a new message is sent, you will see a button on the bottom of the chat when scrolling up which allows you to jump to the bottom of the chat when you want to. There are still other features like chat message editing and markup, so check the module page linked in the description for all the details of this module. This beefy module is an absolute gold mine of great chat features. I highly recommend it. Oh, and just an aside, all of the modules are gonna have their links down in the description. Next, Chat Images is a very simple module. It allows you to copy, paste, and drag and drop images into the Foundry VTT chat for easy posting. On top of that, this module will also automatically convert URLs into images. This is a small module, but can make using Foundry chat smoother by eliminating the need to save an image onto your machine before posting it in the chat. Continuing with the image theme here, this module makes it easier for you to quickly recognize who a chat message is from. Chat portrait displays the actor's portrait image on the chat messages that they send. It's a small addition, but I personally really like to see the actor's portrait image in the chat message to easily recognize who is sending the message. So when you roll a private role in Foundry VTT, there is still a chat message that gets posted that you made a role, which is not necessarily what you want. For example, you might want to do a role behind the GM screen, so to speak, so that your players aren't aware of the role. Well, 
actually private roles will make it so that private roles do not get posted into the chat at all. It also silences the role sound so the players can't hear that you made a role. By default, the module does, however, show a role confirmation message to the role author, but this can also be turned off in the settings. This allows for some behind the scenes setting up while my players remain blissfully unaware. It can sometimes be hard to remember what exactly the syntax for rolling dice is or how to whisper someone in the Foundry chat. Luckily, Chat Commander has you covered. If you write slash roll in the chat box, you will get suggestions to finish the syntax for different roles. For whispering, you just need to write the at sign, select the user you want to whisper to, write your message, and then send it. The module will make sure that this message is sent as a whisper. With these two features, you can easily use the roll command to roll dice and quickly send whisper messages without a problem. On top of that, the module does have a bunch of other features so that it can be used together with other modules to keep a tidy and conflict-free list of chat commands. Dice tray is straightforward, but effective. It adds little dice buttons right under your chat box, which allow you to add whichever dice you want to a roll easily. Want to roll 2d20? Just click the d20 image twice and send the message. This module makes using Foundry a little bit easier, especially for new users. This next module is D&D 5e specific, but have you ever had a situation where a player is not sure if they subtracted a spell slot from themselves, or they aren't sure if they added the right amount of money to their character sheet. D&D Character Monitor makes it so that a message is displayed in chat if one of the following changes are made in a player's character sheet. Equipping or unequipping an item, attuning to or breaking attunement to a magical item, preparing or unpreparing a spell, changing the number of spell slots, changing the number of feature usage, and changing resource values, for example, money. I found this module to be very useful in helping my players keep track of their resources, especially when they accidentally change something to a wrong value or forget if they've made a change to their character sheet. I definitely recommend this for any DM running D&D 5e. This next module is similar to the last one in that it logs all the damage actors take. Damage Log adds a new tab to your Foundry chat where you can see all the damage that one of your players or enemies received and it also gives you the ability to undo and reapply that damage. This is very handy when you're not sure if damage was applied to an actor or if you accidentally applied damage to the wrong actor and need to undo it. What's really neat about Damage Log is that it's not only limited to D&D 5th edition, but supports other systems as well, like Pathfinder 1e e and 2e, and Savage Worlds Adventure Edition. And last but not least, this module is an absolute must-have. Ready, Set, Roll for D&D 5e adds a bunch of enhancements and automations to D&D 5e that make for a smoother playing experience. This module is a rewrite and modernization of the module Better Roles for 5e, which hasn't been updated since Foundry version 9. If you've wished that Better Roles would work on Foundry version 10 or 11, then this is the module for you. With Ready, Set, Roll, roles for skills, abilities, and items are outputted automatically to chat instead of relying on the default role dialog system. Items will also automatically output damage, calculate critical damage, place area templates, and print save DC buttons, which can be easily clicked to roll saving throws. You can also hold shift or control to automatically roll with advantage or disadvantage respectfully. The module also adds handy buttons to any damage roll card in the chat that allows you to apply the damage to a selected actor. You can apply full damage, half damage, or even quarter damage, and also apply the damage as healing instead. Lastly, you can retroactively edit rolls, meaning that if you forgot to roll with advantage or disadvantage, you can click the plus or minus button, respectively, on the roll chat card to add the roll to the same card. This module has a bunch more features which you can check from the module page linked in the description. One important thing to note, however, with this module is that it has some compatibility issues with MIDI QOL and can't really be used at the same time with that module. Ready, Set, Roll is an absolute favorite of mine as it makes running my D&D games a lot smoother. Okay, let's recap all the modules I shared with you in this video today. One, DF Chat Enhancements gives you a big, juicy package of chat improvements, including chat archiving and better unloading of chat messages. Two, chat images provides you a smoother way to post images into your chat. Three, chat portraits adds actor portrait images to chat messages. Four, 
actually private roles will fully hide your devious little private roles from your players. 5. Chat Commander is there to help you with completing rolling and whispering chat commands. 6. Dice Tray introduces dice buttons at the bottom of your chat box for easier rolling. 7. D&D Character Monitor will allow you to easily keep an eye on your player's resources on the character sheets. 8. Damage Log will keep track of all the damage dealt to actors, allowing you to undo and reapply easily where necessary. And 9. Ready, Set, Roll for D&D 5e brings better rolls for 5e back with automated rolls, improved chat attack cards, and a bunch of handy features. With these modules, you'll be able to take your Foundry VTT chat to the next level, and your players will thank you for it. I personally have gotten a lot of mileage out of these modules, and I think they truly make using Foundry a better experience. Which of these modules are you planning to use? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on all of these modules. And while you're down there, I would highly appreciate a like and subscribe. These are very small actions from you, but they help my videos reach more people and mean the world to me. On the screen right now, you're going to see a tutorial video of mine where I show you how to animate maps inside Foundry VTT, including a technique using light sources. You should check it out. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.